For the first time in five days, South Korea has confirmed more than 60 new cases of COVID-19. A growing number of them are being reported outside of Seoul. So the Prime Minister on Friday went to Gwangju for an emergency briefing on the situation in that city. Um ji reports. South Korea continues to see more COVID-19 cases, reporting 63 new infections on Friday, of which 52 are local transmissions. With July 1st seeing 51 new cases and Thursday adding 54, it's the first time in five days that the country has surpassed the 60 mark. Concerns continue to spike over regions outside of Seoul and its surrounding areas. They confirmed they combined 32 cases, more than Seoul and Gyeonggi-do province, for the second straight day. Once considered an almost safe haven from the virus, the southwestern city of Gwangju is now on high alert as the number of cases there has been jumping fast in recent days. Calling the situation rather unusual, South Korea's Prime Minister Jung Se-gyun visited the city on Friday to speak at an emergency briefing. In order to stop the spread, it's crucial we have cooperation from all citizens. Please refrain from visiting high-risk facilities and actively follow virus prevention measures. He said the sudden rise in numbers originated from people neglecting to wear face masks or not maintaining a safe distance. The government also pledged to secure enough hospital beds and medical staff. Regarding the recent coronavirus transmission at an elementary school in Daejeon, everybody at the school has tested negative. According to city officials, some 760 students and 100 teaching staff were found to have not contracted the virus from the three students who previously tested positive. The results seem to have calmed concerns of secondary infections that had the health authorities and parents on high alert for a couple of days. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.